Welcome back, guys. How is everyone doing? We have a very cool, very unique, very unusual, if you will, uh, OTF, out to the front knife today. This is the EMP EDC Slenderman. Now, EMP is a company called, that stands for Every Man's Pocket EDC. All right, cool. Comes with a very cool um, padded Velcro, um, you know, lined, nice uh, pouch, carbon fiber looking ish. Um, and you get this very small, very slender, as the name implies, uh, OTF. Now I got this from Slicey Dicey. Uh, I sold him a watch, I loaned him a watch, he was sending me back my watch, and I thought this was very unique and cool, and so I picked it up from him. Is it going to be a keeper? I don't know. We'll see. It's probably going to get moved on because I'm not a huge OTF guy, but this one was unique enough that I wanted to check it out. Um, and since he was selling it, he just he gave me a good deal, so here here we have it, right? It's a very cool knife, and it fits in your pocket and dis a freaking peers. It's very uh, Benchmade 940 size, of which I don't have my 940 sticking sitting out here, but oh well. Um, yeah, it's just a very cool knife, and it doesn't scream knife in your pocket. I could have done without the Slenderman branding on the pocket clip. That's a little much for me. I would have much preferred just a blank clip. They do have anodized clips that you can buy off the website. So that could be an option to kind of dress this up because this is all just gunmetal gray. Uh, like I said, it is a dual action out the front with a Warncliffe blade. Very unique-ish looking blade. There's a little bit of fuzz here on the tip. But it has a super smooth action. I think the spring is a little bit less strong than a like a Microtech. Let's see if we can zoom in here and check out the blade. It is D2, and I'll go through all the specs here in just a minute. Has some nice milling on the handle. Again, the same uh, milling on the backside. Nice pocket clip with the with the bearing detent, uh, you know, deal there, which works great. Ninety one out of a hundred. So these are sold out currently. I think they're doing more. There is a drop point version. Zoom out so you can get the whole thing. Uh, there is a drop point version, and I believe the drop point is still available at the time I'm filming this. Uh, I did check their website and the drop point one is still available right now. And that's like $140 for the drop point. And the Warncliffe is 160. If somebody's really interested, I'll make it a better deal. But hey, um, <laughs> shameless plug. There is a little bit of blade play, but that's typical with OTFs. Nothing to worry about there. It is a little, it is off-centered, but again, that's pretty normal with a lot of OTFs. It feels really good in the hand. Even with being as slim as it is, it fills your whole hand. So it, it is a little slippery. I would have liked a little more jimping. This is some texture here with this milling, but it's not a lot. I would have preferred maybe a little more. Um, I Yeah, I just kind of put my hand here and it feels good. You can feel the pocket clip, but it's not a problem. And this is not a knife that you're going to be using hardcore. Okay. This is what we really need for our EDC tasks. I think we all... We all think that we are these, you know, big badasses and are going to slay dragons with whatever knife we have in our pocket. 
should the need arise. And we're going to defuse bombs and we're going to, you know, hotwire cars and we're going to break into stuff. Like, that's what we all think we do with our EDC items. And what do we really do? We open up a package from Amazon or from Blade HQ. We use this knife to open a box of another knife that just came in the mail. I mean, that's what we really use our knives for. Okay, 90% of us, I'm going to say. We open other packages. We take tags off of clothing. We break down some cardboard from all the knife boxes that we just opened this week. Um, you know, we do cut an apple once in a while. We might cut open a bag of beef jerky because it's thick plastic and it doesn't just rip open. We may cut that open. Um, that's what we are really using our knives for. So this is really a perfect EDC type of knife. This really gives you a lot of reach with that Warncliffe blade to get in and do very detailed cutting tasks. And it feels really good in the hand. Um, let me go through the specs. I, I totally spaced that. Uh, it's four and five eighths closed, eight and seven eighths overall, three and a quarter inch blade with a 3.08 cutting edge, D2 steel, I did mention that, 0.108 blade thickness, 0.473 overall thickness, and it weighs in at just two and a half ounces. So it does really disappear in your pocket. It is so slender that it fits in your pocket super well. The 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 trigger the firing button is pleasant to fire and retract the microtech i did video on recently was kind of a kind of a bear to retract there was a lot more aggressive jimping on the microtechs this is not super aggressive it's enough to hold you know it could be a little more aggressive on the retraction but it's totally fine the way your thumb fits and works to deploy. But it, it pulls back just fine also. The Microtech, it really chewed up your finger, your thumb, and it was very hard spring to retract specifically. So this is really a joy to fidget with, and it sounds good. Has a nice, very pleasant, and satisfying sound and feel. So, let's do a couple of size comparisons because what more can I ramble on about this OTF? So, next to the Sharpie, next to the Spyderco Delica, next to the Quiet Carry Waypoint. And last but not least, how about the Hellraiser? Because I know there's a couple of guys out there that just absolutely love this as much as I do. I really do love this. It is just so unique, so bizarre, feels so great in the hand. I just cannot get enough of the Hellraiser. That's why I have two of them at this point. And I'm kind of interested in getting a Damasteel one. I'm not sure I want to pay the price for the Damasteel Hellraiser, but... I certainly want to check one out. So if somebody has one and would be willing to loan it in, I would be eternally grateful. Just throwing that out there. So there you go, guys. I will put a link to the EMP website down in the description. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out this very cool, unique uh, OTF with me. And you all have a fantastic day. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.